sometimes you never get the words from someone that you seek mm -hmm. in your life, but you, you always know the truth here. And so that helped me to sort of close a chapter mm, in my great. life and begin to heal. So if someone has a history of bad relationships, I mean like one after the other after the other, how do we help them erase those memories and learn to trust love again? So there's yeah. two ways that I work with clients. One, I tell them just write a letter. I don't care I what you're gonna write. Yeah, thoughts, feelings, thing. all the little stuff. Just get it out of your brain. Don't and send then, it to them. Exactly. <laughs> and I do have an exercise in my book, Lovable. It's called Lighten the Load, right? Because it lightens the load from your shoulder, from your heart, from your brain. And I set people through certain questions that they can go through and write it out. It's kind of like, just imagine that person is standing in front of you without, they're not gonna say anything. And then you have the opportunity to really voice what you need to say. Because yeah. usually when you say it, whether or not it's verbal or written, it can actually dissolve. And then you can remember the things that you really enjoyed about that person. Mm -hmm. What can you thank them for? What did you really learn from the experience? But it's hard to get to all that when you have the kind of, I don't yeah. like that this person did that, you yeah. know? And as a coach, I do a real easy verbal exercise with people, and it's amazing and miraculous what yeah, can happen. Yeah, I do something very similar um, about writing, you know, obviously writing a letter. I find that that writing a letter and not sending it mm -hmm. um, is very cathartic. Um, I was also deeply, deeply hurt um, followed my, following my divorce. I did not think I would get through that pain, and um, I couldn't move on. I was stuck. I was so unhappy. And thank God, you know, to your point, um, I, I am able to relate to people who are truly heartbroken. Um, but one of the things that I do is I do a purge and talk. So um, you, you purge all of your stuff on a piece of paper and then you talk back to it as if you were your own best friend. Mm. Or sometimes I say it's, it's God, you mm -hmm. know, it's God coming through you or one of your, whoever the source or your higher power is, mm -hmm. it's someone talking through you. And I did that because, um, well, I coached that because that's what really worked for me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, especially when you're in that I'm not good enough or I was rejected phase mm -hmm. and you talk back to it. And you say, no, you're not. You're amazing. You're a great mom. You're beautiful. You're smart. You know, it just instantly just washes over just love and goodness into you rather than the pain. Yeah. You know, when you're breaking up and your heart is broken, you're also concerned we'll ever find love again. Mm -hmm. sure. And one of the oldest it's sayings so in the world is absolutely true, and you alluded to that, which is when one door closes, mm -hmm. another door opens. And to close the door means to work through all these feelings and come back to that place of gratitude where you really can feel the gratitude and remember being in love with that person. Totally. Mm -hmm. When you can open your heart, you're no longer in love with them. You wish them well, but you realize they're not in your life and you, you can choose to have them as friend or not, whatever it might be. But your heart is open again because you can't find the right person, the right loving relationship when your heart is closed. You Completely. tend to get a mirror of your own heart. Mm -hmm. So you want to have it. So one door opens when the other one closes. And closure, closing a door means closure. It means working through those feelings, getting back in touch with an open heart. Yeah. One thing someone once said to me, it was my father actually, that really, really helped me after my divorce was, sometimes you never get the words from someone that you seek mm -hmm. in your life. But you, you always know the truth here. And so that helped me to sort of close a chapter mm, in my great. life and begin to heal I and, and use that and to move forward yeah. Yeah. yeah so it sounds like you know what we all agree on is that the first step is the feelings acknowledging the feelings feeling the feelings getting in the, the muck of that right and then recognizing that there's a lift that comes from doing that painful work and then moving into the future of our lives and you can do that with a coach you can do it through great books you know, you can do it through the support of your friends and family, but you have to start with the feelings.